Hiya, it's Sam and welcome to another iOS 10 screencast. Today I'm going to take a look at how you can use Xcode 8's new thread sanitizer to assist when building multi-threaded apps with all kinds of common problems. Kaloji is the app that I'm going to use throughout this screencast. You can see it's a simple table view with colours and emojis in the cells. If I quit that app and reopen it, you'll see exactly what the problem is that I'm going to try and solve with the assistance of the thread sanitizer. It takes a really long time to start. As is often the case with load time problems, the reason that there's a big delay here is because the data loading is taking a really long time. The view did load method for the table view controller simply calls load data which creates the Kaloji with these methods, which are so slow because of this sleep. I'm going to solve this problem by making the data loading multi-threaded. I'm going to create a concurrent dispatch queue and then on there load all of the data simultaneously. start off, I'm going to create a dispatch queue with a label of com.raywendelik.kaloji.dataload and the attributes, I want this to be a concurrent queue so that multiple things can happen at once. Now into load data, I'm going to create a dispatch group so that we know when all of these tasks have been finished. I'm going to do an asynchronous dispatch on the queue, specifying the group. We want background quality of service, don't want any dispatch work items, and I'm just going to copy the existing Kaloji cre creation code and put that as the task on the queue. I'm going to repeat that for both the colours and the emoji. And now once that's finished, I can do a group.notify, which tells me that all of those tasks in that group have finished. I want to do it on the main queue, and then what I'm going to do is just reload the data in that table view with self.tableView reload data. When I build and run, you can see it loads a lot quicker, but we're missing some items. The app now loads a hell of a lot quicker, but it's not loading all of the data. Why is that? Well, I suspect it's a threading issue, so I'm going to have to take a look at how the thread sanitizer can help me out. To enable the thread sanitizer, I need to edit the current scheme for Kaloji, and then in diagnostics, I can select thread sanitizer. Now I build and run the app again, and then the thread sanitizer will start collecting its data. Heading back to Xcode, I can see that there are loads of runtime errors, and inside the panel, you could get a list of what those things are. You can see here they're all data races, and within each data race, you can see where the conflicting read and writes are, and within that, you get a little stack trace showing you exactly where it is. If I select one of the things in the stack trace, you can see that they're both occurring in the same place in the append function of the Kaloji data store. The thread sanitizer has correctly identified the problem as being a race condition. That is, where two threads try to access the same block of memory at the same time. This is happening because I used a concurrent queue inside the table view controller to make sure that all of those Kaloji loading tasks happen simultaneously. That means that they're all trying to be added to the data store object at the same time, and the data store object is not thread safe. To solve this, I'm going to make the data store object thread safe. There are several different ways that I can do that. Here, the simplest way is to create a serial queue within the data store and then make sure that all of the reading and writing operations happen on that serial queue. In a serial queue, there's no way that two things can occur at the same time. I'm going to add a data access queue to the Kaloji data store class. And this is just a dispatch queue. I'm going to label it com.raywendelik dot Kaloji dot data store. I'm going to use that for all of the operations for updating that data array. First of all, Kaloji at, I'm going to use the synchronous method on data access queue to return the value at that index. And then the same is true for the count. I also want to make that thread safe. So data access queue dot sync. I'm going to do the return self dot data dot count. Must remember to return that. All that remains is the append method, which can be asynchronous because it has no return value. So data access queue dot async, and we're just going to copy and paste that code back in. Now we can build and run. We see it loads all of the things and it loads pretty quickly. And if we jump back to Xcode, we can see we have no runtime issues anymore. And if we just quit the app and restart it, we can confirm that it does indeed load much quicker than it did at the beginning. I've taken a look here at how you can use the thread sanitizer to diagnose some of the more challenging thread issues within your apps. Traditionally, these issues have always been really difficult to find, and I think the thread sanitizer is going to make life a lot easier. Cheers for watching. I'll see you on another iOS 10 screencast. Bye bye.